homes flooded right before the holidays in Baldwin Park. Roofers hit a fire sprinkler line, forcing people out of their homes right before Christmas. And now two weeks later, those people still have no place to live. Fox 35's Marie Edinger went to the roofing company to try and get some answers today. Still kind of just in disbelief. Four families in Baldwin Park are starting off the new year homeless. What is it like for you seeing all this? Oh, it's, it's, it's really disheartening. Workers with advanced roofing cut through a water line, flooding these townhomes just before Christmas. People are just kind of left wondering what, what can we do, what their rights are, and how, how can they best protect their homes. Two weeks to the day since these condemned signs were slapped on these doors, and homeowners here say they still don't have answers. They've been trying to get in contact with the Homeowners Association. They say they want a sit-down meeting, but haven't heard back about that. I asked for the same and haven't heard back either. I did get a hold of the president of Advanced Roofing. I've been in it roofing 55 years. I've never seen anything like this before. He says they've done work in Baldwin Park before, but on these particular townhomes, he says the workers encountered some unforeseen conditions. It's uh, very unfortunate, you know, to see people displaced uh, before the holidays. You know, we, we feel for them. Florida's new building code states pipes installed under the roof need a minimum clearance of one and a half inches. Advanced Roofing says this pipe didn't meet that standard. So far, the company isn't denying fault, but they haven't accepted it either. They say they're still investigating, but the roofing company is still under contract for work on several other homes in Baldwin Park, and they don't plan on this happening again. We were talking to people that do scanning underground for pipes, like when you got to dig for utilities. We're talking to people that can scan and possibly detect the water in the fire sprinkler, and then we mark it out. We're looking uh, at different options. They also want the homeowners to let them inside the houses to check things out. Those homeowners aren't comfortable with advanced roofing um, doing the jobs. We're still uh, looking at all of our options, uh, figuring out what our best move forward is for the community. Right now, Advanced Roofing says its work is on pause while they talk with architects, the building department, and fire marshals. In Orlando, Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News.